Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just want to let you know what's going on with all the sheephead trips. They're almost all sold out. There's a couple trips that still have openings. I'll put them up now. And if you guys are interested in going on the sheephead trip, give us a buzz. There's still a couple of spots left on a couple of dates and you'll see those here. But uh, now that you've seen that, let's get to what, uh, what we're here for. I'm gonna show you guys my go-to rig for sheephead here. All right, this is all you're gonna need for your sheephead rig. Swivel. The one ounce egg weight. We're gonna rig up a Carolina rig. This is optional. Bead, I usually use beads if I have them laying around. Sometimes I don't have them, but bead if you have it. And a long shank J hook. Looks like that. You need to get this hook or something similar. What I use are the uh, 1-0 Mustad bait holder hooks, but any long shank J hook will do, and you'll see why here in a minute. All right, guys, to build this rig, basically we're going to use a Carolina rig, and I'll explain why we use the Carolina rig. I'll explain why I like to use the Carolina rig versus a dropper loop or a high low. So for the Carolina rig, you guys know, we start off, got to put our weight up the line, take our egg weight, go up the line, pull it out right here, down it goes, doesn't matter, I'm gonna let a little bit more line out, there we go. Then we take our bead and our beads there just to protect that weight from banging on the knot over and over and, and uh, loosening up the knot or car causing harm to the knot. And I can't see the hole, there's the hole. And in it goes, so once you get the bead on, bloop, it slides down. And then because I'm using braid, I'll just use a simple clinch knot. Easy peasy, clinch knots work great with braid. Once they clinch down on themselves, that's, that's a wrap. So for the clinch knot, just go through the eye of the swivel, and I just give it five turns. One, two, three, four, five. Looks just like that, and then you just go in the hole. Once you go in that hole, it creates this hole right here. So now you just take your tag in and you go through that hole that you just made. And that's it. That's your clinch knot. Grab your tag end, pull your swivel. See how it starts to tighten. Once it starts getting a little bit tight, I'll start to pull it all the way down. It starts to tighten up a little bit. And then boom, right there. You know where that's going? It's going nowhere. Looks just like that. When you're all said and done, now you've got your swivel tied to your braid with your bead protecting it and the weight. Now, our leader, that goes on next. For my leader material, I'm typically using 20 or 25 pound. Here I've got 20, so and I'll usually use a uh, San Diego Jam knot to tie my leader to my swivel. So the San Diego Jam, you just go through, just like that. See, that's all you do is go, to go through, and then I'm gonna reel it up a little bit. So I can show you guys a little better right here. A little pressure will help. So, now, I've pulled my line through the eye of my swivel. All you do is leave yourself about six, eight inches. This part right here, you're just gonna wrap seven times. So we'll go quick right here. Seven, and now, Now, down here, can you see that hole? A little, little hole right there. Right there at the bottom. This tag in, after you've wrapped it seven times, goes through that hole, like so. Let's grab it, pull it through. And then right here, you've got a hole right here that you've been holding the whole time because when you looped it down, it creates this hole. You go through that hole. Yep, that's in. Then you just grab the swivel, and you take the tag end and the line right here, just sort of pull them together, and you'll see that knot sort of clinches down on itself. Just like that. And then you pull it down to the swivel. And that is your San Diego Jam. There we go. That's a wrap. Now it's time to put on your hook. Now remember, and with the eye going like that, you want to go in from the hook side. 
run from the hook side, like so. And for this, I'll just use a simple clinch knot. Just spin it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing. You've got the little hole down here. Just go through it. This is what happens when you're 48 years old. You can barely see stuff anymore. There we go. Now we're in. And here's the hole you just created. Go through that. Grab your tag in, grab the line, give it a pull. Right here I always give it a little wet. Kind of lick it for a second. Pull it down. Shiggity blam. Cut off the tag end. Just a hair more. There we go. You've got your Carolina rig with about a three to four foot leader on there, your 1.0 long shank J hook, one ounce weight, and that's my go to rig for sheephead, boys and girls. Now, let me show you how to hook the shrimp. Now, just so you know, you don't have to have ghost shrimp. I always pump ghost shrimp beforehand. Ghost shrimp is basically their number one favorite food, it just is what it is. So, you can buy them at Seaforth at Squid Co, um, or you can pump them, but you can get squid, you can go get mussels, you can get clams, uh, cra rock crabs, any of that stuff works. Um, my buddy limited out using squid right next to me last trip. So you don't necessarily have to pump shrimp or buy shrimp, you could just go to the rocks and bang off some, uh, bang off some uh, mussels or something like that, man. Like any, any sort of uh, crustacean, they, they chow down. But like I said, Go shrimp is their number one, so let's show you how to hook that. So, we're gonna pretend this is a shrimp. The big ones are about this size, pretty close to it. Don't talk smack about my shrimp. It is what it is. I don't have any shrimp with me, so this is what I got. <laughs> so, what I like to do is, on the ghost shrimp, I always hang them upside down like this because the weight of their own body just holds them down. Even if they wanna reach up and try and grab you, they can't, they're too heavy. Go through the top of the tail just like this, like that. And then feed the hook through as far as it'll go, just about almost to the line. Then I'll sort of flip it back up and I put it through this part of the body again, just like this. Just like that, so when it's done, it looks like that. And then he flaps around down there just like this. And when they come to eat him, that's a wrap. Now let me tell you why I like to use the um, Carolina rig instead of the high low or the dropper loop. On the high low or the dropper loop, you've got weight below your bait that's holding it down. So when the sheep have come in to inhale it, they only have about so far to go before that weight stops them and the, and the um, shrimp basically comes to a stop. So if the sheep head don't inhale it right there, a lot of times it'll blow those shrimp up. What I like is a Carolina rig leave it on the bottom and then what I like to do is I've got my reel already set right here all the way on the bottom completely out of gear clicker on so to sum up I drop it to the bottom it's out of gear clicker on this guy hits the bottom and now he's floating around and then as soon as the sheep head sucks him in you hear that all I do is flip it all the way into gear give it about one second give it one hard hook set wham like I'm trying to rip its lips off. One hard hook set, because their mouths are really hard. You want that hook to bury in there, and then you want to start horsing. You want to keep his head pointed at you, because if he gets any sort of slack, he's going to dart into the kelp one way or the other. So you want to give it a hard hook set, and then just sort of horse him. But you don't want to just horse him to the point where you just break the line or rip it out of his face or whatever. They've got a hard mouth, but you can straighten a hook, and it can pop off. So like I said, that's a technique. Keep their head pointed at your boat, keep that pressure on them, and get them right uh, uh, to your boat as fast as possible. Uh, Carolina rig on the bottom. And that's it, boys and girls. Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Um, give Roxanne a call if you want to jump on a trip. Otherwise, tight lines, and we'll see you out there. Yoop.